Hello everyone, uh, Rogue68 here with you today. And I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do a short tutorial, keep it as short as possible, for working with N.TGA files when creating custom user skins for War Thunder and how to successfully create those um, skins by painting over those reflective surfaces without having the color either washed out or whenever you hit certain. Uh, light differences the uh, color will either go away or just not show up like on moving parts such as the uh, propeller cowl the nose um, losing its color and all of that can be accomplished um, by working in the um, the channels file or channels for the n.tga files so here is probably the one aircraft that has the shiniest and the hardest to work with polished surface which is the p47d 28RE Pacific. Um, it's no different working with the other um, aircraft or you know models that have um, the uh, polished metal look. The P-51 is of course you know polished metal, but it is a, a, a much duller version than what uh, the the uh, P-47 has. So in this tutorial, we'll use this one as the uh, as the example since it would be the one that would give you the most trouble if you don't do this correctly so we have an unedited file here um, this is what my latest one that I've released uh, looks like it's a Sody pop you can find it on uh, the War Thunder live page um, but I'll let you look at that my user profile is rogue 68 um, and you can see this aircraft after it's been created in the video so go ahead and jump right in now the first thing that that we did here um, with this file it comes as a 200 or 2048 uh, pixels by 2048 pixels but what we did is we went ahead into the image um, and image size and you just double that to 4096 and it will um, give you twice as many pixels to work with since you double the size and then whenever you um, you start working with your your file the detail is a lot better and if you use super resolution screenshots like I do um, the detail will uh, remain intact as you um, as you work with those and get closer so we've already got everything together here now um, I like to color code and organize everything in my uh, my layers panel uh, so that I know what I'm working with it really wasn't done for the benefit of this video it was just something I do if it helps you then hey I'm happy if it if it doesn't then you know just ignore that altogether so with all of that being said let's go ahead and dive right into the uh, to the chrome uh, file which now I know they're n.tgas some people have other names for them I'll call them chrome for this tutorial the purposes of this tutorial we're just going to call this the chrome file the n.tgas so we'll open we'll go ahead and select that file and we'll unhide that and then we're going to click the channels button um, or the channels tab rather and you'll notice that you have four active channels which is your red green and blue plus your alpha now what you want to do is you want to select the alpha um, normally you can just click that and it'll take all of those out if it doesn't just uncheck everything until you have your alpha selected now what we need to do for this um, this chrome skin is we need to cre create a um, an alpha channel with a color and I use a color that I have found that is best for the P47s and others um, it doesn't cause any bleeding of the reflection or the mirroring effect onto the other surfaces of the aircraft or cause the colors to lose their um, the, their vivid color, you know, the, the saturation of the color when it turns into different light angles. Um, it's going to happen, but the more you can minimize it, the better your, your skin is going to look. And for my aircraft, I've studied with all different colors and... Um, the 204, 204, 204, red, green, blue, or as you can see, the, the six C's, uh, gives you a, a gray color that we're going to use. So we have that selected. We're going to go with our paint bucket, and we're just going to go ahead and color that alpha channel. Uh, we'll, we select all of that, unselect the alpha, and then when you come out, you'll notice that if you go to your other Chrome file, which you ha we have not edited yet, once you uh, color that channel, the alpha there also ch uh, colors as well. And it'll also uh, pass on over to the uh, alpha for all of the other layers that are within this group they will all go to that color so with that being um, explained we'll go ahead and uh, show you how to paint on this aircraft and make it look how you want it to be and hopefully once we're through you can go from 
this to this. And this is the goal today, so that we can have these colors on the uh, metallic surface, and they will have either the type of shine and reflectivity that you want off of them um, based on the colors that you use, but that's in a different um, tutorial on how to um, adjust those colors, the shine and whether they're matte or, you know, nice and shiny or not. But we're going to just work with this one color now, so what we'll do is we'll head back over to the uh, unpainted surface for this P47. Now we're back in Photoshop here, so what we're going to do is we're going to need a color um, to work with, and I figure one of the best colors we can use would be the one that our um, learned developers have already chosen, so um, I've already got that color picked here, but I would just use my eyedropper, select that color, go to our brush, and let's just work on this portion of the wing here. So I've got a big brush selected, and we'll just paint a little red circle there. Now that we've got that little red circle painted, we want to go ahead and use the magic wand, or you could use the uh, the lasso tool, however you work that, but just go ahead and, and get that that area selected and highlighted there so that we can work in with other work with it in other channels without having to re, you know duplicate it. So now that we've got that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the Chrome file, uh, make sure that it's selected there um, along with turned on otherwise you'll be working in the other channel uh, click the channels or I'm sorry the other layers channels um, now that we're here we're going to go ahead and um, unselect or deselect everything but the blue channel and in this channel you have black and white and you can have shades of gray but normally in these files it's black and white now the white represents everything that's going to reflect the black re represents everything that's painted and matted or the uh, reflectivity off of the uh, the paint itself meaning the gloss of the paint uh, will be determined in the red channel. But here it's either going to be white, black, or a shade of gray, depending on your preference. If you start changing these colors too much, you start seeing undesirable results on the aircraft and the, the painting that you, you place in there. So what we're going to do, and a ghost just threw a shoe in me in the closet, so sorry about that. A little break there. I'm sure you wanted to know that. All right, we're going to go ahead and just uh, select the, the black here. Uh, we'll take a paint bucket and we will color in that little circle. Now we'll go ahead and select our red channel, deselect our blue, click on that channel there, and you'll notice that within this uh, layer, um, you have the, the different shades of gray down to black. Now, um, these lighter gray surfaces um, are there for um, parts of the plane that have been uh, painted that the developers do not want to shine through. So we're going to go ahead and just we're going to select that color and use that for our circle. So the eyedropper tool, select that. That gives us 737373. And we'll take the paint bucket and we'll go and paint that there. So go ahead and select everything back again. Go to your channels and you're going to see that that circle now matches what has already been uh, pre-colored on the aircraft. So we can go ahead and just hit Control D and deselect that. We're going to go ahead and save this. And we're going to save it to the M.TGA. All right. And then we'll go ahead and deselect the Chrome, go to the color, and we're going to save that also as a TGA file. And we're going to save it as the A.TGA. All right. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and take a look at our skin. All right, now we're here to the skin. Let's go ahead and refresh. And now that we refresh, you will see that we have a red circle on the end of the wing. Everything is real shiny, but there's no bleed through. There's no um, undesirable shine or change of the color uh, based on the surface that it's on and the reflections around it. So, and there you have, that's how you um, adjust your layers in your Chrome file or your Chrome layers. Sorry, the Chrome file, the n.tgas, um, to achieve having paint on a, a metallic surface and it having the ability to be seen without the Chrome bleeding through. And on our next little tutorial, I will explain how to 
uh, adjust the amount of uh, glossy shine that those painted surfaces can have or just a complete matte finish uh, that has no shine at all. And I hope this has been uh, helpful to you. And whenever you're through, hopefully you'll be able to decorate your aircraft and have the colors come through the way you want them to. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to this video, like this video, and if you have any questions or comments, please place those below. And if you would like to uh, contact us, um, I'll have my email address up and our website address up here at the end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you have a great day.